Okay, for this assignment, um, we will be exploring um, five principles from Euclidean geometry, um, but we will be looking at them in both hyperbolic geometry and elliptical geometry. We'll start off in hyperbolic geometry, uh, the first of which, the isosceles triangle theorem, saying that if you have um, a triangle with two sides with equal lengths, their opposite angles will be congruent. So what we have here is we have two sides of a triangle, equal length, and what I will do is measure their opposite angles to see if they are congruent, which will show us if this theorem holds in hyperbolic geometry. So there are the two base angles, as they are called. That angle. And that angle, and you can see that they are the same measurement, so that would be a pretty good, pretty good inclination that this theorem holds in hyperbolic geometry. Okay, so next we look at linear pairs being supplementary as they are in Euclidean geometry. So I have a linear pair down here, this angle along with this angle, and since I have this angle measurement already, what I will do is measure its linear pair to see if it is supplementary. And you can see, if you take these two measurements, add them together, they will indeed equal 180 degrees. So the second principle seems to hold true in hyperbolic geometry as well. The third idea is that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So again, I have two of the measurements, one, two, all I need is the third measurement to see if they add up to 180 degrees. So it's saying that this third angle of the triangle is 37.1. Clearly, if you were to add these three values up, they do not equal 180 degrees. So this third principle is not true in hyperbolic geometry. Okay, next, the alternate, that alternate interior angles are congruent, <clears throat> I need a set of parallel lines, and I'm going to use this line as one of them. I will create a second line parallel to this one, and I also need a transversal. So again, we're not looking at any of this stuff up here. We're focused on this line and then the two parallel lines right there. So I'll pick any two alternate interior angles. There's one. And there's the other. And I will drag them to their spots just for the sake of time here. I'm not going to go through and delete everything I have. So it's saying this angle here is 114 degrees approximately. And this angle right here is 102.6. So it looks like alternate interior angles are not congruent in hyperbolic geometry. Finally, the Pythagorean theorem, which I have set up 
right here I have a tri right triangle this section right here with angle I K O being 90 degrees so therefore I need to show that side KL squared plus MK squared is equal to LM squared so I'll do a simple calculation So there's the sum of the two legs, the square of the two legs. And if the Pythagorean theorem holds, it should equal the measurement of LM square. And you can see here that those two are not equal, so the Pythagorean theorem does not appear to hold in hyperbolic geometry. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to elliptical geometry and look at the same ideas um, in elliptical geometry and kind of have to hurry here so I keep it under 10 minutes. First, the isosceles triangle theorem. I'll be doing the same thing as in hyperbolic geometry. I have two congruent sides here and here. If they're opposite angles are congruent, it should follow that the isosceles theorem, the triangle theorem, holds. And you can see here I have two sides congruent. Opposite angles are also congruent, so it appears that this holds in elliptical geometry. All right, linear pairs are not supplementary. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is create another line. I have this angle measurement. I'll calculate this measurement over here and see if they do indeed add up to 180 degrees. And you can see here that it appears they do. Some of the angles in a triangle should equal 180 degrees. I have two of the angles. I will measure the third angle here, 105 degrees. And if you take the two angles that were part of that isosceles triangle, add them up, plus that third angle, it's, you can see it is more than 180 degrees. Um, the fourth principle, alternate interior angles are congruent. That is, you cannot test this in elliptical geometry because there's no such thing as parallel lines, so we can go past that. And finally, the Pythagorean theorem, to see if that holds, I've done the same thing. Um, created a right triangle right here. This angle here is 90 degrees. And I will do the same thing, make a basic calculation, take the square of the two sides add them together and just a hunch they're not going to equal so you have the sum of the two sides squared does not equal the hypotenuse squared, which is right there. Therefore, this does not hold in elliptical geometry.